What is going on guys? Hope everyone's had a great start to their 2016 year and I just wanted to bring you another one of my chess days. This actually took place on January 3rd as you saw. This was two days ago and this was a day where I did attempt a one rep max. This is the rep at 215 which was one of my first singles. I believe I hit 205 before this and really this is pretty much where I start to actually feel the weight and how heavy it actually is. 205 normally is good for me, for especially for a single. I've hit that for a triple before. Um, so 215 is really a test just to see whether I'm going to be able to go up or not. So as you saw, it went pretty smoothly. Felt very confident going to, into this attempt at 225, which would time my lifetime PR. If you've been following these vlogs recently, I did widen out my grip, so this would be a PR at that hand grip. So I'm going to let this raw clip play for you guys. So as you guys saw, it went pretty well coming off my chest. It actually flew off my chest in comparison, but it did not lock out. So that tells me I need to work on my lockout, which is kind of funny being that my close grip um, prior to widening up my grip would be considered a lot of people's close grip bench, um, and that's how narrow my grip was. So triceps had always kind of been a strength of mine, so to not be able to lock it out is kind of... Um, just kind of coincidence um, it's kind of ironic actually so anyways moving on you just saw my last set of 10 reps I believe I did four sets of 10 reps on the incline <clears throat> there's 60 pound dumbbells then I moved on to the isolateral um, chest press I believe it's called and I really like doing this machine um, it really isn't something I've been doing for all that long probably a couple months but I really enjoy it I'm doing I believe um, I got a plate and a 25 on for 12 reps and I really just enjoy the um, the peak contraction with your hands together simulating kind of like a dumbbell um, and being that the handles are isolated I do enjoy that as well so anyways moving on just did some triceps here through this in um, I really just enjoyed throwing some sort of um, other muscle group into my chest days and with triceps being an accessory movement to bench and that sort of thing, um, excuse me, triceps being an accessory muscle group to bench, um, I enjoy doing a little bit of triceps just to kind of give my chest a break during the workout. So just did some tricep extensions there with the rope for 12 to 15 reps, five sets, keeping the weight lighter and really just getting that full extension at the bottom. Um, the next exercise we moved on to was kind of um, two supersets finished off the workout and the first is this incline machine bench right here for 12 reps three sets all together of each exercise and then I paired that with <clears throat> what you will see here in a second just a pec deck um, just a pec fly on the machine and really just working on keeping my palms open and really just using the force of my um, kind of the pinky as you'll see instead of really just keeping my whole hand on there and I've got that tip from a number of different YouTubers I believe Christian Guzman was the first one um, I ever heard give me that tip but um, I'm sure there's many others who have done it but this is something I really really have enjoyed doing you might not be able to move as much weight on this exercise um, with your hand in that way as you see right here um, but it really gives you a much better contraction in my opinion <clears throat> So like I said, I did four sets, or excuse me, three sets of 12 reps on each of those exercises, the incline machine press, as well as the <clears throat> pec deck. So moving on, I just went to a cable crossover here, just really focusing on bringing my hands across one another and worrying, worrying about that final peak contraction and really shortening the pec as much as I possibly can. I did, I believe pretty high reps on this like three sets of 15 um, I think on this set I go over 15 um, but three sets of 15 and then I paired that with the final exercise which <clears throat> was three sets 
of 12 to 15 reps each arm for this and this is just a one arm cable extension really focusing on keeping my neutral grip the whole time just being that my thumb is up in the air and really driving that thumb down towards the ground as I bring it um, as I bring them as I bring the cable down really what that is going to do is it's going to allow you to um, activate the long head of your tricep um, you are able to I actually saw this in Matty Fusaro's video recently on how to build bigger triceps if you haven't looked at it go check it out it really explains the kind of the scientific side of the tricep and um, that sort of thing so if you're interested in that definitely go check it out but really just try to focus on bringing your thumb all the way to the ground or towards the ground I should say to really activate that long head of the tricep <clears throat> so again three sets of 12 to 15 reps on both of these exercises and of course 12 to 15 reps each arm on the tricep extension just leaving you guys with some posing here if you enjoy the video please show me that by liking it if you do that, I kind of know which videos you guys enjoy and which videos you don't, so that helps me gauge what content to put out for you guys. If you haven't already, please subscribe to me as well. I'll be coming out with more content weekly, and you can expect three to four videos a week from me in 2016, guys. Once again, thank you for watching, and have a great day. Ten bands, fifty bands, hundred bands, fuck it, man.